Deen, Al Islam, religion with Allah since time began. That is for the remembering Allah and Ra is for the month of Ramadan. Oh, Ramadan. That is for zakah to cure our greed when we give our money to those in need. That is for salamun alaykum. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala ashraf al mursaleen Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in amma ba'd Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu My distinguished viewers, listeners all over the world you are welcome again to another edition of this enlightenment program if you recall, we have been talking about, you know, towards the effectiveness of the management of an IPO, Islamic Philanthropic Organization. We have mentioned, you know, about four or five different, you know, characteristics expected of such an organization to make them to be effective. Uh, today, inshallah, by Allah's willing, we will also talk or dwell on some other, you know, characteristics as time will permit us. One of the characteristics that we want to look at to you know at this auspicious time is the independence you know of the IPO. Um, and by independence we are you know it means we are talking about the impartiality of the operators, the practitioners, you know, of the IPOs to either their donors or to their partners or to their beneficiaries or the other stakeholders where they are operating from in terms of producing a certain goal which has been set for them. And one is also required to produce policies that are not meant to favor certain sets of people and then to exclude others. This can only be done where such an IPO does not have a very strong you know, good corporate, Islamic corporate governance structure put in place. So one of the things we intend to mention here, which is very critical, is that the operators of, that, of this IPO, when they are crafting their policy, such policy should not be crafted based on excluding certain sets of people or favoring certain categories of people and then, you know, or also manifesting either directly or indirectly prejudice against certain people, either beneficiaries or either donors or either partners or either even some people in their neighborhood who are stakeholders in the organization. This is indeed very, very critical. If the IPO wants to be very effective and also want to be very efficient in the delivery of their services, which they are out to you know implement and also the goals set for by themselves which they also intend to achieve and to do this that is why there is need for them to be independent the independence of the IPO you know from the donor the independence of the IPO from their partners the independence of the IPO from the beneficiaries the independence of the IPO from the stakeholders where they are operating from by not actually affecting their judgments and their disposition in terms of who benefits, who does not benefit, who do we favor, who do we, who, or who we do not favor. Because when they have this particular, you know, thought in their minds, there is no way such an IPO can be very effective. And that is why to encourage them, Allah says in Quran, in Surah Al-Fusilat, Quran chapter 41, verse 30, He says, Inna alladheena qalu rabbuna Allahu thumma staqamu tatanazalu alayhimu al-malaika Meaning, Allah says, indeed, those who have said our Lord is Allah, and then they remain steadfast on the right course which they are actually following, the angels will descend upon them, saying, do not fear and do not grieve, but they will give them, you know, glad tidings of paradise, which is al Jannah which you have been promised. Secondly, also, another important characteristic here is justice, equity, and fairness. Justice, equity, and fairness. 
By justice, we mean by placing things in their right foot place, putting a thing in its right foot place without any bias, without any prejudice. Be it religious, social, or financial justice, as well as giving others equal treatment. You know, this one is linked to the previous one. You know, as an IPO that wants to be seen to be very efficient and effective, we do not discriminate, we do not take the right of A and then give that right to B when B is not deserving of the right. Or we want to now, you know, give pre preferential treatment to C and A is actually in dire need of the services, but we jettison it. This is also not going to be you know, something that will favor the IPO to become very effective. It is also very important to mention that justice, equity, and you know, fairness, they are considered as you know, some of the highest you know, virtue standing next to what? Standing next in order of importance to the belief in Allah, which is our Tawheed, that is the, you know, the creed you know, in Islam, the belief in the creed in Islam. And of course, the truth of Prophet Muhammad, prophethood sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is why IPOs that commands justice and fair dealings with donors, with volunteers, and with beneficiaries are bound to make impactful interventions in the operations. And that is why Allah, in his infinite mercy, calls our attention to these two you know, verses in different chapters. One is in Quran chapter 5, verse 8. Then the same you know, you know, context of the verse is another chapter, which is chapter 4, verse 135. In chapter 5, verse 8, Allah says, Ya ayu ladhina amanu, O you who believe, Kunu kawwa mina lillahi shu'adah bil kisti. Let us stand up, O you believe, stand up and be steadfast as witnesses for Allah, wala yajrimannakum shana'anu qawmin alla alla ta'adilu. And do not allow the hatred, your lack of love for certain set of people that you have, make you to pervert justice by not giving them their dues or their rights. Allah ta'adilu. So that you become, you know, suffering from, you know, poverty of justice. Idilu, Allah says, be just. Uwa akrabu litaqwa. That is next to piety. Then be conscious of your responsibilities and duties, not only to Allah, but also to the stakeholders. Allah repeated this same you know, context in Quran chapter 4, verse 135. Then perhaps, if time permits, I will also take you know, another important characteristic, which is trustworthiness. Trustworthiness. If you look at all these characteristics, they are linked one another. They are linked to, you know, to one another, either you know in sequential or by you know activities and by you know responsibilities. Trustworthiness here is an indispensable tool that IPOs, that is Islamic philanthropy organization, must possess in order to be able to stand the text of time and still warm themselves into the hearts of their donors, warm themselves into the hearts of their partners warm themselves into the heart of their volunteer workers, warm themselves into their hearts, into the heart of the, even the beneficiaries where they are operating from. And that is why, to underscore the importance of, you know, trustworthiness, keeping trust, which is a responsibility, you know, Allah has given to the IPO, Allah mentioned in Quran chapter 4, that is Surah Al-Nisai, verse 58. What did Allah say? Allah says, Inna Allah, Meaning that indeed Allah commands you to render trust to whom they are due. So as an IPO, if we want to be seen to be very effective, we, ha we have to also ensure that, you know, we demonstrate practically, you know, that we are worthy of being called a trustworthy IPO. In other words, we will give what is due to A to A, and we will give what is due to B to B, we will not take the due right of C, and then we will not give it to A. When we do this, then it is going to affect not only our reputation, but not only our credibility and integrity, but it's also going to make us not to be very effective and efficient in the way we run the IPO. So it is very, very critical that we must also be, you know, be conscious of ensuring that you know, trust 
which is amana given to us by Almighty Allah. We keep it and we do not betray it. We keep it and we do not also, you know, you know, find ourselves wanting in it. It's for Deen, Al Islam, religion with Allah since time began. That is for the remembering Allah and rise for the month of Ramadan. Oh, Ramadan. That is for zakah to cure our greed when we give our money to those in need. That is for salamun alaykum. Peace be with you. Wa alaykum as -salam.